They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? championship it takes a dream to go for it talent to get near it but most of all folks you got to have guts to win it hello everyone i'm michael malley this is global guts i'm here with the team of international presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world before we kick off our world championship games though let's go to our referee more quirk for an official gold medal update mo Hello Mike, here's a look at the standings. Mexico is in the lead and only one goal separates Germany and the US from third place. Today's events will certainly affect the overall picture. Let's get underway and find out how. Mike. And first up is going to be a little water polo global gut style way above the pool. In sky ball we're going to give you a little bionic bungee so no water in the world can hold you down. You're going to grab a ball, you're going to soar, you're going to fake right, you're going to fake left, you're going to shoot, you're going to score. Let's go to Mo. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will grab a ball and throw it into the goal across from them. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds wins. On your mark, get set. So 60 seconds of endurance, extremely important in this game. The other smart moves to think about control and accuracy. Our players trying to throw those balls as they bounce into the goal. And right there, our German player, Christina has already got three goals. That's Kelly, she looks to have two. She's in purple from the US. And right there, Christina though, filling up the goal with four. She's got great accuracy. Now you see, that's Israel from Mexico. He's not getting a good bounce. But right there, filling it up is Christina. As Kelly also goes for the shot. Christina has it all together. Look at the shot right there. She's just filling it up. So great accuracy for Christina. Kelly also with the third. And remember, these guys, blue and purple, look to be fighting out with second place points. As time runs out, they're trying to control the bungee cord and having difficulty. Let's go to Mo, though, and find out the official results. Mo. In first place in Skyball, Christina scoring 10 goals. In second place, Kelly scoring four. In third place, Israel scoring two. Accuracy is important. Once you got the form down, you got to get the shot off. And you see Kelly just missing the goal right here. But this game, it was all Fraulein Christina from Germany filling it up one after the other. First place finish. Finish. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Well, Mike, first place on our, in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Christina from Germany. In second place with 200 points, Kelly from the USA. In third place with 100 points, Israel from Mexico. All right, folks, and the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and our player is about to face a ferocious basic training course. But right now, it's time to get to know our main man from Mexico, Jaguar Gonzalez. Spill your goods. Hello, my name is Israel Gonzalez Correa, and I'm from Monterey, Mexico. I like swimming and basketball, but my favorite sport is soccer. My favorite food is flottas, which are made with guacamole, lettuce, and salsa. Before competing, I pray, and by doing that, I know that I'll persevere. How do you train a global army of guts athletes? Well, we take them to our gym for an all-new basic training. First, our players will be jamming through the elastic jungle, and then they will fire their way up the wall climb then marching across monkey bridge after that they're gonna get off the monkey bridge and they are gonna fly down the slide for life boom 
They got to get up out of there and tear through the tire crawl, going through those tires, boom, daddy, and then cruise up the cargo net. And then they're going to slide down the pool slide into the pool to end the race. Mo. Players are timed from starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so up first is Israel, the Jaguar. And it needs a quick start to get him. He's getting caught in the elastic jungle, but he got out of that. That folks like a high performance vehicle. Time to get the cylinders to kick in for some high octane activity. Smart moves in this event. He already had the quick start. And now he goes into this event in third place. So we'll need to set the time to beat here. He's got to continue his speed and his fearlessness up that cargo net. And then agility is also important there also. Sliding down the pool slide in. Time to go to Mo for the official time. Mo. Israel clocked in at 33.3 seconds, Mike. Our leader right now, Christina, she's up next. On your mark, get set. All right, doing a little twirl before the whistle. Christina, they call her the tick. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because she gets under her competitor's skin with her fearlessness. Look at her blazing speed up the wall climb and then monkey across monkey bridge just slipping there. She's going to have to do some fancy footwork to make up the time. Down the slide for life. She'll hit that and then power into the tire crawl. She's our leader, as I said, with 300 points, and she goes right into the tire crawl. Now she can roll out of that and get up the cargo net and down the slide. She can beat Israel's time, but it doesn't look like she's going to make it. Into the pool. Whoa. Christina clocked in at 35 seconds, Mike. We'll see what Kelly, wild thing they call her, we'll see what she can do. On your mark, get set. All right. So Kelly, wild thing. The wild thing has been set loose. Time to kick in the organic juice. Throttle her way to first place. She's in second place going into this event. She has no idea what the other players' times are because she has not watched them boogie through this course. And so, as she falls down the slide for life, she, she can get into that tire crawl. She can power through there. She can take this lead. But having trouble in the tire crawl, pulling herself through. Up to cargo net, she doesn't even roll. Very close. Fancy footwork here, folks. Now she's fighting for second place points. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Kelly clocked in at 37.8 seconds, which puts Israel in first place, Christina in second place, and Kelly in third place. We talked about speed and fearlessness. We also talked about smarts and skills. You watch the tick as she attacked the monkey bridge, and she was trying to go across a little too fast, losing her balance there, losing precious tick tocks on the clock. Didn't get a first place finish here because first place was going to go to Israel. He went into this event with 100 points. He goes up the cargo net. Look at this guy. He almost tore, tore the cargo net off. He said, no, I want to get wet. I want to get in the pool. I want 300 points. I want a piece of that crag. Let's check out the leaderboard. Mo. Christina is still in the lead with 500 points. In second place is Israel from Mexico with 400 points. In third place is Kelly from the USA with 300 points. All right, folks, two down, two to go, plus the crag. We're coming back, little hang ten, and a little scrumble, rugby, gut style. We come back. Welcome back to Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids. And today's world title still up for grabs. But right now, we're going to get the goods on the German great going for the gold. Hey, Christina the Tick, spill your guts. My name is Christina Webb, and I'm from Dormagen, Germany. In my spare time, I do track and field, play tennis, and go riding. My friend gave me a deck as a good luck charm. Of course, it only works if it's upside down. All right, folks, imagine racing across the English Channel on a surfboard. In Hang 10, what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to bombard our athletes with some big-time waves and some serious surging surf. Who's going to shred the most wicked waves? We're about to find out. Let's go to Hank. Oh. At the sound of my whistle, players will have 30 seconds to collect as many buoys as possible. The player who collects the most buoys wins. On your mark, get set. 
All right, folks, the scores are very close going into this event. Israel from Mexico is in second place now with 400 points. And in Hang 10, he's going to have to keep his mind on coordination, fearlessness, and peripheral vision. In Hang 10, you can't hang back, you can't kick back and relax. You got to move your body through the pool. And he's just sort of floating there like a dead man's float. He's going to have to kick his legs if he's going to get some more buoys. Seems to have a different amount, but he's waiting for the water to just move him through the pool. Let's check out what the tally was on Israel. Mo. Israel collected seven buoys. Up next will be our leader, Christina the Tick. On your mark, get set. All right, all the way from Germany because she wants a piece of the rock, a piece of the crag to bring back to Germany on the plane saying, hey ho, I got the gold. And she already has three. She's got about 18 seconds left. Seven is the score to beat, and she's just grabbed two more. Now, again, she's also not using her legs to motion herself forward. That wave ball is just kicking her around that pool. But it looks like she has more than seven. I don't know if that's official. We'll have to go to Mo. We'll see what her score is. Mo. Christina collected eight buoys. Kelly Wild Thing will be up next. She goes into this event in third place with 300 points. On your mark. Get set. All right, the magic number is nine. Wild Thing making her way to her first. There's another one hidden around that wave ball. She's gonna have to use her peripheral vision and make her way to the spot in the pool where the most buoys are. But right now, she can, looks like she's in view of about four or five. You see her using her arms and moving her legs and turning the board around. She's got seven seconds. She needs one more. It looks like she has eight. She's stretching for nine. She needs the points. Looks like she got two more. And you see how excited she is at the end of that event. So we'll find out if that's official. Mo. Yes, Mike, it is. Kelly collected ten buoys, which puts Kelly in first place, Christina in second place, and Israel in third place. That's right, Kelly. The wild thing tamed the waves on this last event. She needed nine. She thought she'd bump her score up with ten. First place points, leaderboard, Mo. Well, Christina from Germany is still in the lead with 700 points. In second place is Kelly from the USA with 600 points. In third place is Israel from Mexico with 500 points. Shaping up as a great one. It's time to hear a little more about one of the greats in the U.S. Kelly Wild Thing Kirk. Spill your guts. My favorite sports are soccer, basketball, and track, and I love to do gymnastics. What I really like about gymnastics is practicing really hard and then accomplishing your goals. Some things I like to do after school is going to my friend's house, riding on horses, and jumping on a trampoline. I'm really excited to be here. Time for the Rugby Global Gut Style, folks, to so get ready to scramble. Folks, you're going to be pushing and pulling, mauling, crawling, hopefully scoring, Mo. Huh? Now, the sound of my whistle, players will have 60 seconds to grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. So this is the event that is extremely important because only 200 points between the third place and first place going into this event. We've got the crag coming up next, and our player's got to be ready. And taking the digger right there is Kelly Wild Thing. Our players in this event need very quick decision-making skills, efficiency, and power. Those balls are dropping all over the field, and as you push one way, the other players are pushing and pulling the opposite way. Incredible leg strength is needed in this. As you see Christina making it back, and you see as the balls drop onto the ground, it's complete craziness as they're bouncing all around the field. But it looks like, oh, a nice toss right there from Israel. He goes into this event with 500 points. He needs a good score. It looks like he's filling it up right there. He really needs to come back, and he is motivated. Another one in there. There's Kelly. There's two. Christina also picking up, running all the way back, putting another one in. Let's go to Mo and find out the official results. Mo. In first place was Israel collecting nine rugby balls. In second place, Christina collecting eight. In third place, Kelly collecting seven. 
We uh, talked about quick decisions. I'm going to show you two examples. Here's one. Israel knocking that down and saying, I'm going back. I'm going to turn. I'm going to put that in because I want first place. And then Kelly, watch her. Look at this determination and decision making. She's getting knocked down. She says the stunt guys get out of my way. I got one. I'm picking up another. I'm putting it in. Great efforts for all three of our players in that last event. We got a very close game. And each one of our players brings something very unique to our show. Yesterday we went during practice backstage. Here's what we found out. How important is wanting to win here today for you? Just as important as winning because I have to. I'm here. You're going to take home a piece of the rock back home? Yeah, and I'm going to hang it on my shelf for everybody to see. We got a great one going on here right now. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. How's it look, Mo? Well, Mike, Christina from Germany is still in the lead with 900 points. In second place is Israel from Mexico with 800 points. And in third place, Kelly from the USA with 700 points. Well, folks, scrumble in the bag. Now it's time to take on the crack. The mountain coming up. They climb. We'll be at the top. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Gossip Bank. You want worldwide drama? I'll give it to you right here because we're at our last event and things are just getting heated up. The crag, where the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second. A 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. Mike, after four events, it's very close. Christina from Germany has 900 points in the lead. In second place is Israel from Mexico with 800 points. In third place is Kelly from the USA with 700 points. That is a look at where they stand now. Let's take a look at how they got there. We start off in Sky Ball in Israel from Mexico, lobbing one in for one point. But this game was all Christina's, filling up her goal one after the other. Little aerial water polo. She took home 300 points for that one. We get into basic training. Israel had to set the pace, and he knew he had to make a move really fast across Monkey Bridge, kicking up his knees on the slide for life. He went on to win this event. Jamming through the elastic bridge, warming up for a first place finish in the next event right here was Ka Akeli, the wild thing, because her event all took place in the pool. Hang 10. This was Israel trying to grab hold of some buoys. And that was Christina trying to get some buoys. But as I said, first place, 300 points went to Kelly. Our players, that's Kelly right there, knocking a couple in there for the fumble. What we got, ladies and gentlemen, is we got a very hot competition. We got only 200 points between third place and first place, and the Super Agro Crag could decide it here today. That's right, the Super Agro Crag. First, it was the Agro Crag, then it evolved into the Mega Crag. Now it has become the Super Agro Crag. And players will begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switch back bent with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch lurking ahead avalanche ledge with ultra sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll from there it's a hard solo up the ice wall straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak and all the while our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow you want some rules let's go to mo players will start at the sound of my whistle each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. The super aggro crag is sharper, it is bigger, there are more obstacles, there are new surprises, and so now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet. It all comes down to this, our last piece of work. It is a tie score. Whoever gets to the top of the crag first goes home with the glowing piece of our awesome rock. Kick it off, Mo. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, it's Boulder Canyon. Those blistering blasts of venomous vapors trying to slow our players down. That's Israel in blue. Christina in red. Kelly in purple. And they're neck and neck as they make their way through switchback band. Climbing the bones on top of them. It looks like Israel's in the lead. Israel up the ice wall. Nothing's going to slip and slow him down. He locks in first. 
And then, for second place, Christina from Germany, locking in third, will be Kelly. Let's go to Mo. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Israel from Mexico. In second place, Christina from Germany. In third place, Kelly from the USA. It's complete mayhem on the Super Agro Crag. You see right here, the rocks come tumbling down. Our players look very close to that part. But going up the ice wall was our man Israel from Mexico. Fighting through the sheet of snow and walking in in first place at the top of the Super Agro Crag. And now our players are ready for their medals. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here it is, Mike. The Super Agro Crag certainly deciding it today. In third place, Kelly from the USA with 1,075 points. In second place, Christina from Germany, 1,450 points. Our winner, Israel from Mexico, 1,525 points. What more could you ask for, folks? It all came down to the Super Agro Crag. Receiving the bronze medal today, 1,075 points. Kelly! Kelly was awesome! And hang 10! She came back! Got right back in the thick of it. She's taking home the bronze. The silver will go to Christina from Germany with 1,450 points. And you are now hearing the national anthem of Mexico because our winner today is Israel. Israel from Mexico. Thumbs up. He's bringing home the gold and a glowing piece of our awesome rock. He's holding it high for the entire extreme arena to see that he came from Mexico to the extreme arena and was a champion, a world champion at Global Guts. And so our players right now will take a well-deserved victory lap around the Extreme Arena. So the Extreme Arena fans can vocalize their appreciation. Take a listen to this crowd. Gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. Do you have 